in a class taught by Sir Tim Berners-Lee. And at that point, Sir Tim thought that this was one of the best projects he had seen in a long time. Uh, so Akash and Puru took inspiration from that. And they decided to breathe life into what we now call it as infinite analytics. So we were founded in June 2012. I take care of business development and marketing here in India. We have Dawn, uh, who takes care of it in, in US. And we have data scientists on board and a couple of interns uh, uh, from MIT itself uh, you know, working on our project. Uh, on our advisory team, we have Sir Tim Berners-Lee himself, who has guided us, coached us, and mentored us uh, all the way along. And he was all, he's been very kind to us to also be a part of our advisory team. Uh, we also have Dave Roy, who is the chief media scientist at Twitter, who is not only an advisor to us, but also an investor in our company. And of course, there is Eric Brynjolfsson and Jeff Jarvis as well. So what we do really is uh, we use advanced personalization techniques and advanced semantic technologies to be able to improve product discovery, increase customer engagement, and increase conversions. And the way this works is uh, we acquire social data about the user from social networks. We look at the clickstream behavior of the user uh, on the e-commerce site, as well as past on transactional data to, our, to the extent we have our hands on that kind of data. We merge all of this data into what we call as the social genome and analyze it. Our patent pending, our pending algorithms uh, match it with the product catalog of the e-commerce website. We use a lot of semantic technologies and national, uh, natural uh, language processing techniques to be able to do sentiment analysis of unstructured data. What that helps us to do is predict the user intention on the e-commerce website to be able to serve recommendations real time to the user, as well as come up with user insights which help marketers to uh, go back to their users and you know, target them with better offers and promos. To give you an example of our product recommendations, uh, this is how it appears on the e-commerce website. And it is absolutely uh, targeted and personalized for them because it is based on their social data, on their clickstream data, their, their spending potential, uh, uh, you know, their likes and interests. And these are the, some of the examples of the user insights. Uh, so the user insights are uh, specific about the user, uh, which helps marketers understand what the user psyche is all about, uh, you know, right from their likes to their interest, uh, to what kind of activities they like to do, to what kind of events they like to attend, their spending potential, what are their media habits, their music listening habits, as well as brand specific insights, uh, such as, uh, you know, what are the brand affinities of the user? Uh, you know, is he an advocate of the brand or is he a detractor of the brand? Does he use competitive products? Uh, you know, and is he an influencer in his network of in, in, in his network of friends, or does he easily get influenced by them? So what this allows us to do is, uh, you know, it allows us to give them a complete 360 degree perspective and go beyond just the demographics of the user to be able to go back to him with targeted offers and promos. Uh, coming to our implementation, it is snappy, it is resource light, and low maintenance. Our fastest integration has been in less than two hours, and the longest it has taken for us is 15 days. And we only need one dedicated engineer on board uh, from the e-commerce site to work with us. We do not require an entire data analytics team or a technical team to work with us. And of course, it is low maintenance because it is completely cloud-based. So these are our clients uh, across different verticals, both in India as well as US. We have clients in the content and media space, in apparel space, uh, home accessories, as well as food. And these are some of the results. Uh, so we drive about, on an average, about 20% revenues uh, via our recommendations on the e-commerce site. Uh, we in help increase convert, uh, customer engagement by about 30%. And we've processed about 110 million users so far in the last two years of existence, and 59 billion attributes for these users. So that's us. Uh, 
Um, I think it's great that the implementation doesn't require data analytics and teams. I think that has been a big hindrance in terms of implementation. Uh, can you just uh, quickly comment, uh, if you can, uh, with, uh, for a privacy or confidentiality reason, the key benefit of your algorithm? Uh, so our algorithm is extremely superior. Uh, it's our IP. Uh, and of course, I will not be able to sh uh, share beyond what I'm going to say right now. So what we do is, uh, you know, we look at the social data of the user, like I mentioned earlier, across social networks. We look at the clickstream data. We look at uh, past transactional data. We also look at macroeconomic data. And so this allows us to look at the user from a complete 360-degree perspective and come up with recommendations which are extremely relevant to the user. So Thank you. And uh, also another thing I would like to say is, uh, you know, because we are very snappy, we are taking care of the cold start problem. Uh, and we start impacting the bottom line right away. Um, I think, hello, is this working? I think it's terrific what you folks are doing and, and very well presented. Um, also, I have some uh, very good people involved with you folks. I just want to uh, get a sense that you had some great international names up there. Um, what are your plans to scale up the business and how are you leveraging your advisory team that you have um, to try and get to where you need to be? Um, you know, it's a very relevant question uh, that you've asked. We have major expansion plans and, in fact, uh, as we speak, uh, the team is also scaling up. Uh, you know, Dawn has just joined us in the U.S. about just this week uh, and we have plans to uh, recruit a couple of a data scientist and you know the way our advisory team works with us is it's extremely uh, they're extremely hands-on with the business and uh, you know having Sir Tim, uh, Sir Tim Berners Lee on the board uh, can be uh, quite uh, you know scary because he's extreme you know he's watching every move of ours and in fact because he represents W3C uh, and uh, because he's also responsible for privacy guidelines we have to be extremely wary about, uh, you know, user privacy and, uh, and because of that, we also get a head start, about six months head start with what's happening, what are the new guidelines that are coming up. So our advisory team has been playing a fantastic role. And uh, do you find that uh, when you, given that the, what you're doing is become so core to most internet um, websites and, and mm -hmm. e-commerce portals, uh, do you find that a lot of these folks have started implementing, you know, similar algorithms, um, if not the same, obviously, uh, in-house uh, rather than outsourcing it to to folks such as yourselves? Do you see uh, that you come up? So uh, I, I don't want to comment about what they are doing, but having said that, uh, you know, a lot of people are trying to uh, build a recommendation engine in-house, but it's largely focused on clickstream behavior. It does not take into account uh, the social data. It does not take into account the past transactions. You know, if let's say Chroma Retail is a client, if I have bought an LG TV today, LG LED TV, if I go, if I log in a week later, I'm not there to buy an LG LED TV. So that becomes a very important data signal for us. You know, past transactional data and macroeconomic data. Uh, you know, the census data or whether it is the voter roll data, Aadhaar data to be able to verify that this is the same user. So, you know, a use case in the financial services industry, this kind of data becomes extremely important, mm -hmm. especially for people who are giving out loans and, uh, you know, uh, uh, are issuing big loans to people. They, you know, fraudulent cases, uh, you know, to be able to sure. uh, identify those cases, this is where it comes into use. Okay, thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you.